to know physically how the compression rate fractions produced you can take the example of slinky spring slinky slinky spring is nothing take a big spring like if you go to a toy shop you will play the springs like this right so if you have a spring which is called slinky slinky spring now take the spring initially the spring will be like this now if you move the spring like this like this apply the force you just compress and spread compress and spread when you do continuously then what happens what you observe in some places you have in some places this of appearance you will get so some loops are very closely packed some loops are spread the closely packed loops which have more number of loops i think you already understand more number of loops means high density compression less number of loops low density means rare fraction so here also low density rare fraction so this physically tells you that compression and rare fractions are happening alternatively so you understand that sound is energy sound is a wave also now sound is what type of wave it is in physics we have different types of waves we have different types of waves the wave one type of wave is mechanical wave and second type em wave electromagnetic wave and third type matter wave so here we don't discuss about electromagnetic wave matter wave those will discuss in the different chapters our point of discussion is mechanical wave now mechanical wave is produced because of mechanical energy and this mechanical wave again classified into two types one is longitudinal and second one transverse longitudinal wave and transverse wave now we will discuss about what is mean by longitudinal and transverse waves so you understand about types of waves now we discuss about what is longitudinal wave and what in and what is transverse wave longitudinal wave what is mean by longitudinal take a medium so medium and medium has many number of particles so the particle a b c t now a wave is produced because of some source a wave is produced and the wave is traveling through the medium in this direction right side right side direction when the wave is traveling in the medium the particles in the medium won't be in the rest state they will start vibrating i told you earlier wave has to move forward means particle has to vibrate so this a b c d particle also starts vibrating but how they vibrate they vibrate along the direction of the wave see it is horizontal direction and this is along the direction of the wave so the particles in the medium this starts vibrating along the direction of the wave so whenever a wave propagating in the medium such that the particles vibrate in the direction of the wave then it is called longitudinal wave and examples of the longitudinal wave are sound wave water waves and waves in spring all are longitudinal waves now next one transverse transverse wave see again take the medium so medium 
take the particles a b c d again a wave is propagating in the medium in the forward direction right side now the particle starts vibrating this time the particles vibrate perpendicular to the wave propagation so wave is moving horizontal right side but the particles are vibrating perpendicular means 90 degree angle this line this line angle is 90 so the particles are vibrating perpendicular to the wave direction so a wave when it passing through medium such that the particles in the medium vibrating perpendicular to its direction is called transverse wave and examples of transverse wave are light light is a transverse wave next water yes in water you can produce transverse and longitudinal both and next string strings like strings of musical instruments guitar violin veena all the different types of strings when you plug the string you are producing transverse waves